Hey guys, this is Shubho and in this video, we are going to learn how to smoothen a skin to remove its blemishes and imperfections. So without further ado, let's go to my computer screen and remember if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below and let's go to the screen. So here we have our image and uh, this time uh, this is an image of my friend and the first thing we are going to do is duplicate the layer so hit control, control J to duplicate the layer and duplicate the layer again because we need two filters we are going to convert both of these layers into smart objects so hit convert to smart object and hit this and hit convert to smart object and we are going to take the first layer make the top layer invisible go to filter go to blur and hit uh, gauge and blur and yeah about 18 19 is fine for this image so let's keep it there and uh, hit ok and then we are going to click this one take this image and we are going to go to again filter and then we are going to go to other and gonna high pass and keep the radius around 2 to 3, it's 3.8 here. You can see the outlines on its face and the spectacles. Hit OK. And now that both of these layers are done, we're going to change the blend mode of the first layer to vivid light. Vivid light hides the grays and shows the extreme blacks and whites. So this is because this layer was completely gray, it hit almost everything except for the white outlines, white outlines around his spectacles and his some of his special features. If you want a detailed video on the blend mode, please let me know down in the comment. This video it was actually made because of a subscriber recommendation. Subscriber wanted to see this, so here it is. And then we're gonna select both of these layers and we're gonna go group from layers. Okay, and with this done. We are going to add a inverted mask. So I am going to hold Alt and click on the layer mask. And here we have inverted mask. Remember black hides, white reveals. So this is a black mask. So it is hiding the layer. We are going to go here and turn the foreground color into white. Because white will reveal. So we will only reveal the areas of the blurred image that we want to show. Otherwise, the places where we want to keep the details, we keep the details. So, I'm going to hit Control plus, zoom in, and take this brush, it's a bit too big, and we're going to slowly start revealing the area that we want to reveal that is blurred out. So, we're going to paint over this, and opacity and flow is at 100%. So that's there. And slowly and steadily paint over the areas that we want to learn these blemishes and you can see. Yeah. Don't put blur on someone's lips or under the nose that looks really bad. Don't do that. Otherwise you can do it. So we're gonna keep his facial features. We're not going to make him completely into a Barbie doll. So there it is. There it is. Doing it on this image is a little bit better because uh, the background is completely blurred out, and because it's separated so well, you can actually take a risk on the edges, and you know. Even if you make a mistake, it's not that bad because, well, the background is blurred out anyway. So, what difference would it make? And you can see we are slowly removing the blemishes and the marks on his skin. We are going to keep his beard because we can make whatever there is of his beard. And yeah. I think this is good enough remember never overdo this kind of retouches you want them to look as natural as possible 
you want them to look good without making them look unnatural because the moment something looks fake and unnatural that is what we call a bad edit and nobody wants to see us because if anything looks fake it automatically looks bad yeah so don't don't do that other than that it's fine so we're not going to do anything to these areas we need his features of his face so yes maybe zoom in a little do these now the fun part is because this is in a group and you know that you have applied filter if you feel the blur is not enough you can always go and increase the blur and that basically makes it bloodier and this is why you should always always apply filter as a smart object always because it makes the filters editable and you can go back and change if, if this was not a smart object i would have had to control z the entire thing and go back and do it from the beginning so never ever ever do that and with that said yeah i think we'll just let him keep the bag we won't blur too much about here let's let's do something around here and i think for this image let's move the markings from here yeah yeah i i think for for this image this much is good now you can of course go more and you can blur the image more and you can do everything that's up to you for me this looks good and with that said this is the end of the tutorial so please like share and subscribe comment down below and hopefully next video will either be on curves or on blend modes so let me know what you want to see or if you want to see something else that's completely fine let me let me know i'll do it as soon as i can see you in the next one